Hey guys, Jake here, coming at you with another math lesson today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you how to do today, but before I jump into this, I have done a handful of other videos on my channel that are very similar to this kind of problem. Um, I'd recommend you go check those out first. Just push pause on this video, go check out that playlist. I'll put a link up here so you can go check those out. Um, they go into a bit more explanation of kind of why we're doing what we're doing, but I'm just going to kind of jump into the meat of it here today. So. Um, Go check that out real quick, come back, and uh, let's jump into it. So here's the problem we have. I'm going to show you how to find the values of a and b that make the function f continuous on negative infinity to infinity. So basically, we're making it continuous everywhere or continuous for all x values. And we have this, or this piecewise function here, which is kind of broken down into these three pieces, and it's defined by these three separate functions within each of these three domains. So just like I do in my other videos, basically all we need to do is make sure that this function is equivalent to this function when we switch between them, or in other words, when x is negative three. And then we need to make sure that this function is equivalent to this function when we switch between these two, which happens at x equals zero. So to do that, all we really need to do is take this function here and this function here set them equal and plug in negative three for x. So let's do that first. We'll have negative a, which is a constant that we're trying to find. We'll plug in negative three for x minus two b. And we're gonna set that equal to this function and we're gonna plug in negative three for x. Now we also need to make sure that this function equals this function when x equals zero because that's when we switch between these two. So when we plug in zero for x here, we're just gonna get zero and that'll be equal to plugging in zero uh, for x here gives us zero and then plus two a. So we're just gonna get zero plus two a, okay? So now we basically have a system of equations with two variables and two equations. So now we just need to solve these, the system. Fortunately, it's gonna end up working out pretty easily in this case because the second equation here doesn't have any b's in it. It just has one unknown, one constant a. So what we can do is say 0 equals 2a, a equals 0. So we know a equals 0, so now we can take that and plug it into a in our first equation. So doing that will give us 0 times negative 3 minus 2b equals negative 3. 0 times negative 3 is 0, so negative 2b equals negative 3, and then that tells us b equals negative 3 divided by negative 2. The negative 2s will cancel. We'll just get b equals 3 over 2 because these negative signs will cancel also. So a equals 0, b equals 3 halves. We'll make sure that that piecewise function is continuous on the domain of negative infinity to infinity, which is for all x values.